When creating a project in EasyPV, you have the option to either create a roof space manually by entering in the dimensions yourself, or we can use the satellite image tool to measure the roof space directly out from the map. To do that, we just need to pop an address in for the property and it should zoom you in like so. And then just zoom in a little bit further so you can get a nice view of it. And then we're just gonna click measure from map. We're just gonna center that as best as we can and click confirm and it will take us to this screen here. Now you can zoom in and out a little bit to be nice and accurate. And just before we draw around the roof space here, we're just gonna make sure that we've entered the pitch degree and also the roof material type as well. So the material of the tiles, or you can specify if it's a flat roof system or a ground mounted system as well. Once you've done that, we can start to draw around the roof. So I'm just gonna click draw roof. Now it's very important in Easy PV that you do actually draw the bottom gutter line of the roof space first so that it can automatically calculate the orientation of the roof. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in and just click on the corner here. And I'm just gonna click once around each edge of the roof space here. Okay, just link that back to where we started. And as you can see, it has labeled that bottom edge of the roof as the gutter line. So we know we've done that correctly. Now you can just come in here and drag some of these corners around to be as accurate as possible. And the other thing that we can do is actually add some obstruction. So we can see we've got a Velux window here that of course we want to take into account. So I'm gonna go ahead and click add obstructions, choose the most appropriate option and then just click once and draw a little box around that like so. Okay, and there we have our roof design. Now, if you're working across multiple roof spaces, say an east to west system, for example, you can go ahead and click add roof and repeat that process for as many roof spaces as you have. Just need to enter the pitch degree again and the roof material type, click draw roof, and then you can go ahead and repeat that process elsewhere. Once you're happy with the roofs that you've added, we can go ahead and edit them in a little bit more detail. That will bring us to a page in which you can see all of the roofs that you've designed in the bottom left, and you can also make some minor adjustments to them. So first of all, we can just straighten out any corners there, and you can also click on any of the corners around the roof and define exact measurements for any of these roof lengths here. You can also do the same with the obstruction on the roof as well so you can get a very accurate depiction of the roof space that you're working with if you have the measurements at hand. If you are creating the roof manually, uh, say for example, if you're working on a new build uh, where the property doesn't exist on Google Maps yet, you can go ahead and click Create Roof, which will bring you to this portal here where you can enter the dimensions manually. First, choose the type of system that you're working with from the left here, and then go ahead and enter the dimensions for the system. You can choose an optional label for the roof and then enter the pitch degree and the orientation. Now the orientation here is measured from south. Clockwise would be a positive degree and anti-clockwise would be a negative degree. So west is 90 degrees and southeast is minus 45 degrees, for example. And once you've put that information in, you can go ahead and click create roof and it will bring you to that same page we saw before. Now it will give you a rectangular or square shape depending on your dimensions. And so to work with sort of more complex roof spaces, we can go ahead and either delete a corner by double clicking on it. Okay, for hipped roofs, etc. Or you can actually double click within inside the roof to actually add points in as well. Now you can use this method to create all sorts of different shapes to match the specific design of the roof that you're working with. Now from here, you will also need to enter or add obstructions manually by dragging them in from the left-hand menu. And again, you can resize those or enter exact measurements for them into the boxes here. Another useful tool here is this guide box. The guide box can be used to determine exact measurements between two objects. So if, for example, I knew that there was 950 millimeters in between the side of the roof on the left, and the left hand side of that chimney, I could go ahead and enter the dimension for the width in there and then just pull my obstruction over to the guide box 
You could also do the same with the height. Like so. If you forget any of these options, there are some instructions on the menu on the left hand side as well to help you with your designs.